Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video I want to show you how to access Elasticsearch with API keys. There are three token-based authentication services, Service Accounts, Token Service, and API Key Service. In this video I want to focus on API Key Service. Let's start. To start Elasticsearch, you can use Docker. Command Docker Run and point to your Elasticsearch image. Important is to notice this minus D option that will detach that container from current terminal and let you run another command after that. Another command can be to reset password for Elasticsearch. That one liner is good for testing purpose, for educational purpose. Of course, it's not recommended to run on production, but as you are learning here, it's absolutely fine. Run it and wait once the password will be set. Password for Elastic user successfully reset. Now we can test connection by typing car. Specify minus K option because self sign certificates were used for that. Elastic search, username, password, and address. Local host port and for example this command to check half status for Elasticsearch cluster. Status is green. This is convenient client for API queries. You can create a new get query here, change the type to put and type the address of Elasticsearch. HTTPS in this case, localhost. underscore security API key that's the address now change body to row and JSON authorization should be basic you will use this elastic search user it can be also a new user it need to have this cluster privilege manage own API keys switch to body and type name as a name let's say first API key this is minimal form of creating API key with just a name click on send in response you have multiple fields important is to note down encoded encoded is an API key that you can use in the next request. Create a new request, type address for checking the health of Elasticsearch cluster. HTTPS, localhost, port, cluster health, pretty let's say. Now authorization, change to API key, type authorization, as a key and as a value API key and place this encoded API key click send now you got the cluster status and you authenticated using that API key important to know that is as default this API key doesn't expire to change that type expiration and place value, let's say 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Now this API key will expire in 25 seconds. So let's start it right now. It's working. But after some time, let's wait 25 seconds. Now 25 seconds passed. Let's send it again. Now there's exception, security exception, unable to authenticate with provided credentials and anonymous access is not allowed for this request. API key, API key is expired. 
can API key create another API key? Means user that has one of the API key privilege can create API key with, for example, manage own API key privilege, and then he can create another API key. And whoever is using those API keys can create another API key and another and another and another infinitively. Management of that API keys will be very difficult because user will lose control who is having his credentials in form of API key. Fortunately, it's not possible because the user who will use API key cannot create another API key that will have more than just authenticate privilege. Let's see it on an example. Here in the Postman, go to your API key request and here specify new API key that has a role descriptors with cluster manage on API key. So that will be limited to creating API keys. Send this request. A new API key is created right now. So now let's use that API key in order to create another API key. For example, let's duplicate this request. In authorization, click on API key and place that API key. Body, the same body, send it. Here is the exception that role descriptor must be empty. So you can say empty role descriptor and keep this line empty. Now let's run it again. It's possible, but what can you do with that API key? For example, if you try to use that API key to check the cluster health, let's check cluster health, get, or just send it to the main. It's not possible. Okay, one mistake here. It's not possible because it's unauthorized for API key. It doesn't have any privilege like monitor, manage on all. Even if you try to cut indices, it will not have that privileges. Only what you can do is to use authenticate API to check that user can authenticate and see its roles, how it was authenticated. Type security and authenticate. Now you can see that doesn't have any roles and doesn't have any privileges. It's just for authenticate purpose, this API key. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more such videos and if you have any question regarding this topic, please write in the comment section and I will record more videos. See you.